as a part of FinOps exercise, I was right-sizing one of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 EC2 instance from M4.2x large to M6a.large instance. Not only here I was decreasing the size of instance, but I was also updating the family to more recent and modern instance type, which is M6. Newer EC2 families provide you more bang for the buck and are more performant. So I followed the usual process of stopping the instance, changing instance type, and then starting it. Well, like most of the things in cloud engineering, it wasn't that straightforward. In this case, system checks passed, but instance reachability check failed. And you can see the error on my screen. It was evident that Linux failed to boot in this case. So I reverted the change and started the instance with its original type. Once it came up, I logged in and checked operating system and other logs. The issue here was that my current type M4 is using Zen-based virtualization, whereas my instance after uh, the upgrade was using Nitro-based virtualization. The rule of thumb here is that any instance after the M5 family uses Nitro virtualization. The AWS Nitro system is a new virtualization infrastructure that serves as the underlying platform for the next generation of EC2 instances. The Nitro hypervisor is a lightweight hypervisor that manages memory and CPU allocation and delivers performance that is indistinguishable from bare metal. When you move or upgrade the instance type to Nitro based ones, in our case m6a.xlar, the storage layer will be exposed as NVMe which makes the old device naming system to not to work anymore. In Zen-based, the device naming is something like dev xvt static, whereas in Nitro, it's like dev slash NVMe static. So this NVMe is used by the new Nitro system. And when you move to the Nitro system, it makes the old device naming system to incompatible with the new one. Okay. So the thing is that before you do this upgrade to different family, you need to make this instance Nitro compatible. The way you do it is to update your etcfs tab file to use UUID instead of device name. And here are the steps to do that. First of all, you need to find out what is the UUID of your devices, and you can use list block f command to find out that. As you can see, on line number 7 to 8, in my old FSTAB file, I have the device naming XVDL, XVDK for my mount points, which is using the Zen virtualization. So, with the help of lsplk f command, I found out the UUIDs, and then, then I replaced those device names with UUIDs in my new FSTAP file, and you can see that on line number 12 and 13. Once that's done, save your FSTAP file in VA Editor, and then validate the FSTAP. And before, for that, you need to first reload the system D daemon, because Red Hat is now using system D, which is on line number 17. And on line number 18, we need to make sure that FSTAP and file system is fine with the mount dash a command. Once that's done, then there is no error, you're all good to go. Stop your instance and then start it again. And then make sure that now um, everything is good. And then stop it again and now you can upgrade it to any Nitro based instance family. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the section below. Thanks. Bye.